Yo guys, welcome to the Uber Lab video for November the 27th. Uh, this lab is going to be a little bit longer, I think. We're going to be going into two side rooms. They are totally worth it, in my opinion. Justice. So here we go first. The first we want to do is go down into the left and see if there is a silver key or a shortcut down here gonna be one or the other I haven't had a chance to run this lab yet I have nothing so here's the do. silver key so we're gonna want to get two of these in this run so let's quickly grab this one Where there's grab the this and then we want to go up and to the left a little bit after we exit out of here so here we go And then there should be a door up here, and it's going to be into a side area. So here we go. So we're going into there. And here is going to be a silver key and a gauntlet. So this will be the second silver key that we get. All right, I don't want to run through there yet. I thought that was a smaller thing. So we'll run through here first. Once we get through that, it'll be down and to the left for the uh, gauntlet thing. So this one, you just run through here. I'm not too familiar with this one, but um, run around here. It's a pretty easy one. If you have good movement speed, then it's not so bad. Kind of just go through without stopping. So we'll get our trove. And then we just want to go up and around and get the silver key. There we go. Oh, this might be... Yeah, I hate this one. But it's not bad. I just hate it. Grab the key, open the door, and then get out of here. So that'd be the second key. So getting this key and then going into the side area to get uh, the silver door later will give us three more sets of loot. So that's why I think it's worth it. But once we get out of here, we want to go over into the right and head into the next area. Oh, it's still inside. All right. So we can stay inside here if we want. So the next area is going to have Argus in it. Or so right here. And it's going to have a shortcut path, but it's just going to lead from the room that we just came from. I'll show you how to identify him as I come across him to make it a little easier. This part's the... Uh, what is this part? I have nothing more to give. That's not there. Over here. I thought it said the shortcut came out over here. I'm guessing it didn't. Let's just uh, run around here, go through the uh, crap thingy here.
And then we want to go to the right. And one of the two things should be over here. Here's Argus. We got Argus here. I'm not 100% sure where the... Uh... Let me make sure. You killed me. There's supposed to be a... Uh... A trap or a, a secret door there, but I think that's either going to be front to the left of the entrance or to the right after the trap sequence. The first one's going to be idols, which I believe is curses. Oh no, they're not. Okay, so these ones are like bearer things. Uh, if you want the extra key, you have to let all three of them charge up and then kill Azaro. Strike with fidelity. Got one. All right, we should be almost good. He's dual wielding again. It's like the fifth day in a row, I think. But now that we got all that, so that'll get me uh, an extra key. So the next area is going to have a golden door with a, uh, a gauntlet in it. The gauntlet will always be down and to the left. And uh, I would only recommend doing this one if there is a curious lockbox or a, uh, a strong box in there. So this one's got a curious lockbox, so we're going to go and do this to get the extra key for the chest at the end. For this thing, you just want to stand in the circle and... Uh, Follow it around. Random stuff will spawn. It's really slow. Nothing more to give. There we go. Grab our lockbox. Grab our key. Get out. And uh, so now we want to go like to the right. I go farther right than this, I believe. And you should run into the golden door. The golden door will be right here. The key will always be to the left of the golden door. So there's nothing, in, or there's a dark shrine in here, so it'd be down, sorry, I got the hiccups. Down to the left of the, uh, of the, um, trap room thingy. God, I can't even talk today. A rough one already. <laughs> I just started. Alright, so down and to the left. And then the uh, dark shrine will always be in the corner down here. There we go. And just run around. I got the uh, Dark Shrine. I got a per kind of a useless one. It keeps my elemental overload up, I guess. I'll we'll just keep running around. Get the key. Just have to uh, go through here. Grab the two switches at the end. Where there's a golden key, there must be a golden door. Go up here. Once you get the key, get out of here. Now we want to go open up the golden door. Gold is the most liberating of metals. And we want to go into the next area, which is going to have a silver door. We're going to use one of our two keys here. It lets me in.
So the silver door will either be to the left of the entrance or to the left of the exit. Mystery can be unlocked if so it's, uh, it's a pretty decent one. I like this layout for the outdoor area, even though I hate the outdoor areas so much. None of them are good. We'll grab this. Grab some stick sockets. Rule of thumb, every six socket that you get is worth roughly a chaos. If you convert them into fusings and stuff. In my opinion. So now we want to head up over here. Just keep going up to the right. I have to go through the trap sequence here. I think this is it. Yep. Figure it out here. If we go to the left, get shot by some darts. To the right. Don't have to open the door and just keep going up and to the right. And you should have your door. Yep, so we got Azaro again. Second one's going to be when portals. Easiest key in the game for everybody. Strikes without hesitation. So this is a free key for sure. And the world attends. All it does is summon some adds. If anything, it would be helpful at the end because you can uh, regain your flash charges. Find your determination. If need be. You have to wait for the second portal to come up before he will disappear. By the goddess, what ambition. This empire remains filled with emperors in waiting. The next area we're going to have a puzzle. The puzzle is either going to be down and to the left or to the right. Let's check down to the left first. Not there. I don't think it's over here. We'll probably have to go through the trap sequence and then check to the right. So it'd either be to the left there or over here. Go through the trap sequence and see if it's over there. So this is the trap sequence. And then it should be to the right. I have nothing more to give. There we go. So for this puzzle. Depending on what they let you, so if all of them are like off, just hit every single one of these things once, and then and then it will open the door. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then there you go. Really, really easy that puzzle, that one. And then we want to go up into the right. Because we want to go down because there's going to be a, uh, so I'll show you where we are. Want to go down here is we're going to go and get the silver door here and there's going to be a gauntlet and there's also a dark shrine in here. And this room is pretty easy to figure out usually. So you're just going to have a bunch of traps at the beginning. I'm gonna run out here and then run up to the top. Go in here. And there's gonna be a dark shrine in here. It's either gonna be to the left of the door that we gotta go in or it's gonna be to the right. It's perfect. Cause we're gonna go into the door that's to the left which that's where it is this time. For the side area, and if it's not here, then when you come back out, you can go the to the right and get it there. Be a grotesque affair. All right, so here we go. So this is going to be the side area, so right here. So there's going to be a gauntlet in here and a silver door. So this is where we're going to use our other key. So 
But for this, you just want to get the time crank. Usually wait for the fire to go away. This is really easy as totems because you can just plop the totem down and keep the flash charges rolling. So two. I'm just going to drop another totem there. Now that we're down and to the left, we can get the other gauntlet. Time crank. Time crank. Time crank. That'll open the door. And then we got to go through the fire again. Through the fire and the flames we carry on. And then uh, head up over here. Got the lockbox. We got an extra key from that. So this room going into the side area gave us an extra key. That's always good. So we're going to have maximum keys when it comes to uh, Argus and chess or the, the gauntlets and stuff. And then we just want to go over here. And there'll be a silver door here. Boom. Boom. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. And then we just want to run out of here. I'll show you the other spawn location of that uh, Dark Shrine if it's here. So if the Dark Shrine's not over here, it'll be just up here and then you'd probably turn up and go through here and it will be there. It'll be either on the left of that door or to the right of the door. But once we get it all, we just want to keep running to the right. I think we got to go back outside. Looks like it. Yep. We go back outside. Aspirant's Trial. The final room's going to have Blade. Aspirant can afford uh, Roombas, I think. Must keep those promises. I think that's what those are. Oh so yeah, Roombas and uh, Traps. And uh, as always, I'll show you the loot at the end of the video. So here we go. It's not a bad lab today. It's a little slower, but I think it's worth, worth the time to take all the extra areas out because you can just make more money off your offerings. So we got... Go in here. All right, so we got six keys. Here we go. Uh, flame dash, cooldown, recovery speed. Offering 18% uh, gems. Any of them good? Not really. Man, those are all bad. Maybe temp chains will sell. So we got 7C, uh, 8C with the fusings, 9C chaos, 10C chaos. So we got 10C out of there. That's not bad. But if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. It'll help the channel out a lot. I also stream on Twitch at www.twitchtv slash Thanks again for watching and have a good one.